Hello, Pickpit Gaming here. We're back in Bloodstained. Um, as you can see, I've made sure to get all of the shards from the enemies we encountered up to this point. Uh, my current equipment is still left over from fighting Zangetsu on my own time to get, well, uh, the medal. But the only thing that really changed was the head. Mostly because this gives a little bit of strength, which increases attack. But since we're going to fight normal enemies, I'm back to, well, luck. After all, I want many things. I'm currently using Head Flail, True Arrow and Sword Expertise. They are pretty nicely ranked up right now. Um, yeah. Not much else happened, I believe. Yep, here's the medal. Uh, finally ate some of the foods. And let's explore the new area. Forgot that more ghosts exist. Alright, this guy. You meet him a few times and give him waystones. What does it look like? As if you were a mask. I'm not sure. Your body is covered with weird decorations. You can call that tattoos. Uh, yes, but these are... These are all the rage in Paris. <laughs> oh, okay, good to know. Oh, Paris. Wow, I've never been to Spain. Uh, the name's Benjamin. Uh, I'm Miriam. Benjamin, you shouldn't be here. I oh, know, I know. But I'm so scared I can't even stand up. Damn. I just want to go home. The go. Hmm. Do I? Yeah, take my waystone. This will help me escape. Yes, picture your house and don't let go of that thought. All right, all right, I'll try it. If I remember right, I this happens three times, and each time you get more cash. Well, I'm not going to complain about easy money. You get much more than a waste bonus worth. Should take a look at the top first. Okay. That I can't move before I beat the next boss. Oh. Seems I've forgotten that a free waystone lays on this well map. Let's take a look down first. A grinder and a breakable wall with the sword that I currently use. Eleventh power. Right, right attack. Nodachi, Honibami, Sangetsuto. Can't learn it right now, I think. Wait, I might have to know that chief. Or I might be able to get it. No, that she. Come on, little spirit links. Start following me. I want your drop items. Well, if I don't get them, that's fine. More grinding. More big lion guy. Honestly, this is not the bad area to farm in. Completely forgot that existed. That should give me lots of steel and also a chance to get all of the two shard types next. Okay, that was lucky. Sadly, 
I don't use Degas right now. Might take it for the rapiers though. Critical swing. Lash at enemies with single mighty strike. Could check it out. But I really don't wanna right now. I just want to continue with my playthrough. Okay, those guys are dead. Wait, is this the area where you can meet a boss that is very hard to beat for the time? Something like a Banshee can be met early, or rather early in the game, and it's a pain in the ass to beat. Hello? Could you stop? More people. First familiar? Oh, is it? No, shortcut. Okay, now I can equip multiple different sets. Uh, yeah, there she is. She is a pain to deal with. Mostly because she has pretty high attack. And takes quite a few hits. I'm stronger than I thought. Oh well. Fairy powder. That could be useful. Now which area is this? Uh, I think I need inversion to get through here. Or something else. Another shortcut. Hooray! And I could fall down here, but that would bring me to the start of the castle. I'm pretty sure. Yep, which doesn't help me at all. You know what? I think I'm going to set up my shortcuts. Um, edit. This is going to be my sword slash mace. Which means for now I'm just going to keep everything as it is. As is. The shards don't really change anything in this case. Once I get better equipment, I can just change it for everything. I'll copy this one. So, edit. This is going to become my katana. Which is basically just changing that and this. And greatsword or dagger? I like greatsword. Okay. Which great sword do I have? Pleskos and the spiral sword. I'll think I'll keep that one. Sure, that doesn't help me too much, but why not? I was given the, I was given the slot, then I can make use of them. Yeah, she would be very annoying if I don't kill her. But it also took, what, 
four times of my arrows. And they are at a pretty high level. Uh, more of the same. Ah, oh, right, the reflectors. There's an ability later that lets me turn myself into light, basically. And until that point, I can't get those things. Cat. What did you give me? You know what? I'm gonna kill you a few times. I think the soul shard or the item drops might be pretty good for this time. One item drop. Uh, okay. Red Ron. Rigas Torema. Conjure Column of Flame. Uh, isn't that one? Yeah, this one was not too bad. Sure, I don't really need it right now, but... Better to have and not need, than to need and not have. Okay, the dance mask. Mm -mm. Sadly, not that useful to me. It's not useless, but... Also don't need it. Rose ring. No, that's not that great. I thought it was increasing passive regeneration. KID 1764. The guild has been abandoned by yet another patron. Today's world sees our work as meandering, fruitless mysticism, and whilst my superiors have tried scaring the aristocracy by insinuating, the mockery of the entangible will bring demons to the gates. I doubt these tactics will suffice to avert the girl's demise. Q. I. Why? Wait, hmm? Yes, why? 1764. My superiors act with alacrity? Ele no? They have sent a missive demanding I focus my studies on the conjuring of demons. So they see my crystal as a waste of time, and this new task is not. The Liber Logea Logev has been with the guild for generations. I think they if they think I can squeeze a demon out of it now, the faith is sorely misplaced. Alright. With all that said, more exploring. Ah, I can change my hair here. Wait! I'm a good killer, Barber. <laughs> Butchers and cutthroats all say as much. Uh, I'm not a cutthroat. I've never cut anyone. Uh, well, 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 I have, but but it's these scissors—they've cursed me to become a demon. <laughs> Why not cast them aside? Cast them aside? If I could take them off, I wouldn't be cursed. Duh. <sighs> the name's Todd. And the only way my curse will be lifted is if I barber my way through 666 different <laughs> hairstyles. Well, why not just make the hairstyles up then? Lop a little off here or there. Ah, there's a penalty for sloppy lopping. If I don't give my patrons good haircuts, <laughs> the scissors kill them dead. So, no worries for you. You have the worst curse ever. Yes, quite literally, yes. Please, can you help me find information about hairstyles? I'll cut you for free. That is not an enticing offer. No, 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 not, not cut you. Cut it. Uh, wait, what are you even worried about? You look like you could rip me into a hundred pieces. <laughs> I really could. 
All right. You have a deal. Okay. I can change my hair and my palace here. If I remember right. Doesn't mean I want to right now. And I want my head player back. While that skill is great at higher levels, but unupgraded, that fire pillar is not that useful to me right now. And I wanted to kill the big cat, the Nyabon. Wait, no, I want the item. I think that might be the demon horn I get from it. I'll kill it two more times. Last time and okay, that means farming. After all, the farming I do is not just about the shards, it's also about getting items for better weapons and everything else. Ah, the gargoyle. Those guys give me uh, attack that petrifies. Very fun to use. And proc more often than you think it should. Alright, the living sword. That thing can be a weapon and a familiar. More hair. I think the demon gave me a passive ability too. But I might be wrong about that. Uh, this is the boss room. I'm going to ignore that for a little bit more. Thank you for coming closer. Oh, how did he hit me? I thought I got through. Great. And I've forgotten how good... Well... Bash attacks are against these enemies here. I've got the Bloodbringer. Did I also get the sword as a weapon? Yes. Can't use it while I have the familiar out, but... It's nice to have. But Bloodbringer is seriously not the best familiar. They are quite... Nah, they are not that many, so... That saying might be wrong, that there are quite a few better ones. But there are Medusa heads. If you get that thing maxed, you get lots of attacks going. And there's the book, which increases your attack power. Which by itself is probably something you definitely want. Ah, let's see where you destroy the floor. Okay. Ammunition. 
Metalhead, I think, was here. Yes. Don't know if that was great. Uh, it gives you luck. So, yes. I think if I go this way completely, I reach that point where... Um, well, at one point, directly behind uh, Zangetsu, there was a thing I had to move to move on. I top the chandeliers. I'm pretty sure this is... Yes, it is here. Which means this is basically just a shortcut. Uh, why do you give me iron? I prefer... Well, steel. That familiar is also pretty slow with attacking this one. Might have to take a look if I don't might not just use it as a weapon. And now I see what this gives. Augment. Oh, right. This is something I want to get passive. Oh, okay. Maybe you don't know what I mean with that. If you upgrade a uh, passive uh, shard to the max rank. You can get it as a skill, additionally. Which means you basically have a boost all the time. I don't think I need to tell you how good that is. And the Petrification Ray. Petro Ray. But could you do your job? Really? Can't even kill that thing. Oh well. Might try this right now. I think he was weak against smash attacks. So something like the Morgenstern would probably be better. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, this thing doesn't have the greatest design. Are you kidding me? I hate it how I get hit just by touching him. And he got me. Uh, let's check it out. Yep, definitely smash attacks. Uh, he caught me again. How much do you have? Okay. That was annoying. Craft walk. Grab onto certain objects and manipulate them. Okay. Right, I need to keep it pressed. Oh, I need to hold it. Okay. 
not really the greatest <laughs> ability. Unicorn ring. Okay, makes my healing items better. And gives me some resistances. I would say overall better than a necklace. Take a seat. But I think we can end it here. After all, I wanted to always play one boss per episode. So with the boss beaten, this episode is over. I enjoyed it. It was quick, but very nice. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!